and in the locker room. Each guy has been going over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. Welcome to 2K Sports Live Saturday night coverage of the NBA. Thanks for tuning in. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Philadelphia 76ers here in Wells Fargo Center. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, oh, thank you very much. Now, the NBA has accepted that this is an era of player movement. Commissioner Adam Silver says the data shows that superstars moving isn't necessarily a bad thing because it allows situations to change. Teams that may not be in a competitive position hope that they can sign one of those players. And as we know, Kevin, hope springs eternal. It always does. It keeps the fans involved and looking for more. David, thanks. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Avera number one picks are at the forwards, Edwards and Towns. And it's Rudy Gobert. Then it's Russell. And it's Noel in at the two. And for Philadelphia. Front court is Thibault and Harris. Axie out there with Harden. And it's Embiid in at the five spot. And some ad... The toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans go. like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go round. Now here's Harden. On the pass to Thibel. And beat inside. Defended by Gobert. Shoots from 14. It doesn't go for him. So Minnesota will take it the other way. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Philadelphia this year. And this game will be half of the contest they'll play against each other this year. It's an interesting matchup. Two teams that don't know each other all that well. Separate conferences. We'll see which one can dictate the pace early. Now oh, here is Harris. And that one drops. Harris has got the scoreboard going with his first points of the night for Philadelphia. Well, it's Harden continuing to evolve as a playmaker. This guy including his teammates, making them feel good. Gobert with a screen on Harden. Russell finds Gobert. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on MB. And one of the biggest stories of the summer was Rudy Gobert being traded. It's a fresh start with the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves shooting their first free throws of the game. And as a team, they're down around 72% for the season. That free throw missing. And great something to keep an eye on in this one, the big man. Both these teams have talented front courts. You're exactly right. Both rely on their bigs, and, and the winner of the game is probably going to be the team that wins that front court matchup. And the second free throw, good. And there's a record Rudy Gobert set without much fanfare a few years ago. Most dunks in an NBA season. That's exactly right, G.A. That was back in the 2018-19 season. He threw it down 306 times. Certainly makes sense for a guy who's got that kind of length, athleticism, and the guy who spends so much time right around the cup. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Following the missed shot by Tobias Harris, Towns a screen on Maxi. Towns up top, fires the three. The offensive rebound, and Gobert kicks to Edwards. And Jen shot, and Gobert with the lay-in. Well, putting all of that seven-foot frame to use, Rudy Gobert has been one of the consistent offensive rebounders in the league. How hard his last outing, he had 18 points. Pass to Embiid. Gobert with the ball. And to the ball out of bounds. Gobert touching it last. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. Oh, 
here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Clock is at three. Embiid finds Harris. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Let's check out the NBA's best three-point threats. Second, Joel Embiid. What a percentage that is for him from three-point range this season. His deep touch is about as good as you're going to see. The Timberwolves have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Pass to town. And stolen by Hayes. And here now is Kleiber. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Here's the two drop. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got four rebounds in this game. Here's Russell. 17 points in his last outing. He kicks it to Towns. Pass to Edwards. Five on the clock. Unloads. Good, and as this goes to Towns. Well, you can see Carl Anthony Towns now is beyond just looking for his own shot. He's understanding. Let me make the guys around me feel good. Now, here is Harden. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. To the inside, Embiid. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Timberwolves leading by three. Noel passes to Edwards. Down low. Out to Russell. Takes the three. Rebound by Joel Embiid. And I thought that was going to drop. Looked good from here. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Fader on the way. The 76ers again can't hit it. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Here's Gobert. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, the length and the size of Rudy Gobert are so problematic for defense. There's nothing they can do there but foul him. Doris, one thing that stood out about the Timberwolves last season was their fast-paced play. No doubt, Kevin, and you can trace that directly to the head coaching position in Chris Finch. This is a group that loved to push the basketball up the floor, wanted to catch defenses before they had a chance to dig in in the half court. And remember, that is the classic mark of a youthful team, particularly one with the athleticism that Anthony Edwards brings. Rudy Gobert is one of the game's dominant big men. He understands how to use his length and his size defensively, and he's figured out how to fit in. This guy is an outstanding screener offensively. So he comes up empty, missing both. And last year, Minnesota had a tough end to their season. In their 10th playoff appearance, they made their ninth first round exit. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Here's Russell. James Harden picking up that last pass. Gobert with a screen for Russell. The feed now to Gobert. And there's the pass to Noel. Inside. Here's Towns. Got that bucket. I don't think the Timberwolves, Greg, plan on letting their playoff statistics discourage them at all. And that's kind of the beauty of this squad. They're out to make new franchise history. Not focusing on the past. Just keep evolving as a team. Here's Harris. After the made shot from Carl Anthony Towns. Harris kicks to Maxi. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Russell against Harden. Russell left side. Minnesota gets it back. A new shot clock of 14 seconds. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Harris. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And it does a world of good for them to have Harris getting busy inside. Gives them that inside-out edge they're looking for. Oh, here's Edwards. Checking some stats on him right now. He's averaging just around 22 and a half points a game. Here's Noel. Here's Gobert. 
And he makes the bump and gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. But boy, the added strength of Rudy Gobert over the years helps him complete the end one. You get the sense this guy loves to score the basketball. Gobert, no good on that free throw. An exciting rookie class this year as always, Doris. Just how big an impact could this new injection of talent mean as the season really gets going? Honestly, it has to play out. It's too soon to say exactly, but what we know on the quicker is one key traffic can dramatically impact a team's success. So with any luck, some of the teams have absolutely acquired season-altering players. to Harris. Maxi with it. No points in the game yet for him. And Harden with the basket on this just by Maxi. This is what you call three-shot preparation. Being prepared on the catch to fire before the defense can react. That is nicely done by James Harden. The Timberwolves again can't hit the 76ers lead. How about this run break they're on right now? Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been one of them. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. And guys, I love the movement. Doing a great job of just the getting break. the ball the on a string, creating some opportunities. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. The first one falls. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, huh? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Here's what Philadelphia's going with right now. Harrell, he's checked in for Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. George Nian, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for James Harden. Now here's Edwards. The pass to Anderson. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Really nice decision making by Anthony Edwards. If you're going to play in the NBA, you've got to read off pick and roll action. Melton passes to Maxi. And it's off the back rim. No good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Prince dishes to Edwards. Edwards can hit. Looking at the last game for the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was a loss to the Magic in Orlando. Now, here's Melton. He averages a bit over six points a game. Axie passes to Niang. And Tucker kicks to Niang. Good on the triple. You know, that an area where Tucker continues to improve, making the extra pass. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Anderson. He dishes it to Edwards. Driving inside. Anderson right side. Can't take the ball, and he's just the second after making his first. Elton finds Maxi. Passes to Tucker. Now Melton. The pass to the end. Another three for Philadelphia. Timberwolves trail by seven. Noel passes to Reed. 
pitch to Edwards. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Uh, taking the contact in the NBA, such a critical skill. Anthony Edwards, the frame and the game. To the paint. Hill down low. Guarded by Reed. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And Doris, the unlimited energy Montrez Harrell plays is very special. That's exactly why he's in the league, Kevin. Think about it. He's a little bit undersized for his position, but you will not outwork Montrez Harrell. And it's why he Who's gathers up? respect in every locker room he plays for. First one falls for and Greg, the Philadelphia 76 have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. And after the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Maxi. Boy, what you appreciate nightly about Montrez Harrell is he leaves nothing on the floor. This guy plays with ferocity, with energy, and he's turned himself into a legitimate threat. And the Bulls tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Milton with the ball. Good now by Anderson. Finish off the break. And the 76ers lead by nine. And unfortunately, we've seen a few too many of those. A lack of concentration, a turnover, and an easy bucket in transition. Here's Noel. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The kick out to Anderson from past the arc. It's hauled in by the 76ers. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Well, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. They gave up way too many easy shots. You cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. The Timberwolves secured a spot in the playoffs last season, Greg, and we enjoyed it after they got that emotional win in the play-in game in the Twin Cities over the Clippers. What a night. And Kevin, you can tell it meant a lot to the players. This is a team that has struggled for so long. And by getting to the playoffs, this is a step in the right direction. That free throw, no good. He hits the second from the line. 151 left in the first quarter. Timberwolves trail by 10. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Picks it out to Prince. On deep. And no good. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Melton feeling it out a bit. That's the hero. Back to Melton. With the and that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. The 76ers is making the switch here. Kirk Mize is checked in. Minnesota also with the sub. McDaniels checked in. Lock at six. Kirk Mize passes to here. Here's the three. The rebound by Prince. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that position. Good. That one on target from Noel. Yeah, there's no quitting this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Nice to him. At the Dork Moss. Let's it go from deep. And there's the call on Montrose Hill. That's his first foul. Hmm. 
Royals trail by eight. 35 seconds left in the first. Here's Reed. And again, it's Minnesota. Reed. 29 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Niang. McDaniels defending. Passes it to Milton. Fifteen seconds left to play in the first. The pass to Niang. Hit by Harold. Tries again. A shot by Milton. No good. Boy, surprise team missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. Back to the action in just a minute. I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. Here's Noel. On the court for the Timberwolves as our second quarter is underway. They've got Anderson. He's out there with McDaniel. Russell is out there with Towns. And it's Noel in at the two-guard spot. If Carl Anthony Towns farms space and is in the painted area, it's going to go in the basket. He's that good. And now we got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows. I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Well, this is what makes town so dangerous. Pick and roll, pick and pop. He can take you either way off that screen. Harden the pass to Harris. And Bead sets the pick for Harris. He kicks to Embiid. Six on the shot clock. Puts the move on. And the jumper falls for him. Harden's got six. Timberwolves trail by seven. Anderson. Eight points his last outing. Outside, Towns. Another miss by Towns. Philadelphia's on the five from beyond the arc so far tonight. To the middle, there's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. And if you want to talk about a player who embodies the power game, then Embiid's your man. You know you're going to get some strong finishes anytime he's on the court. Now, here is Russell. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Unloads from 13. And it's Towns missing. The 76ers leading by nine. Harris dishes to Hart. Back to Harris. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And that's the kind of play that fires up your team. Harris with the strength to finish through contact. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. <laughs> and while Tobias is nice, he, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. What's up? Uh, I'm sure he'll take the trade-off. That's good from Harris. Well, James Harden still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston. Here's Towns. That one's in. Only his fourth make against nine total shots. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Harden looking it over. Top of the key, Harris. Shoots 
over Towns. A nice shot by Harris. Harris has got the lead up to 12 now for Philadelphia. And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injury. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. See how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. We'll take a look at the Timberwolves. They're sitting eighth right now in the early going. And when you look at Minnesota, they're a team searching for a way to take a leap forward this season. So far, here in the early going, that leap has not existed. Yeah, it hasn't been all bad, though. I mean, they've had some nice wins, and even if they're not an elite-level team, they still have the look of a playoff team. It's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. A 12-point game. We're playing host to Miami for the next game. That game is the first and last of their home season. For three, Edwards. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And here now is Thibel. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Last to Daniels. Fouled in the end of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. The unselfish play by Anthony Edwards. Teammate is wide open. He puts it right where it needs to be. And something you always hear about Jaden McDaniels, Doris, is how effortless he makes the game look. Kev, when I watch this guy play, I feel like he glides through an NBA game. There's a finesse that you don't necessarily see from players his size. He's a handful on the low block. This young man is brimming with potential. Great father time is undefeated, and every player has to make the decision when it's time to retire. How big a factor was age for you? Well, you don't want to leave anything on the table, but your body will tell you when it's time. That was the case for me. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Russell kicks to McDaniel. Towns is double. He feeds it to Gobert. And finished off by Gobert. Why, why lay it in when you can send an emphatic message from Gobert on the dunk? Harden the pass to Harris. And B with the screen on Towns. Here's Harris again, Philadelphia. Well, a good first quarter leads to a dynamite second period. Timberwolves trail by 11. Russell passes to Gobert. Towns in the corner. A three. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And Beach got five rebounds tonight. Harden outside. Pass to Bible. Now here's MB. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Embiid's got the lead up to 13 now for Philadelphia. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. Towns a screen on Hart. And the Anthony Melton picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Second 
towards the Timberwolves now. Here's McDaniels. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Out of bounds, Minnesota takes possession. And a quick look at how the Minnesota Timberwolves schedule is shaping up on Monday. They'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Then on Wednesday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Indiana, going up against the Pacers. And for that game against the Warriors, it's a chance for them to come out and knock off the top dog in the league. The, a win there can be a big step forward for this team. And they'll get another chance. Harden against Russell. Just five on the clock. The dish to Towns. A three-pointer, no good. The 76ers leading by 13. On the wing, Melton. Harden outside. So a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And the assets traded by the Wolves for Rudy Gobert surprised a lot of people. In essence, five first-round picks, three of them unprotected. They better hope this thing works out. A lot riding on. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And the old phrase, he lives at the line. That is James Harden, folks. Some changes for Philadelphia. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Embiid. And Maxi subbed in for Matisse Thibel. And he's good on the second. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. They trail by 14. Last game matched up with the Magic. Tough loss there. Yeah, I mean, every time out, it's a learning experience to some degree. But that's not what they were looking for. Yeah, I mean, listen, it hurts a little more when you play well and fail to close out a game. That was one they should have won. And Philadelphia calls time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time to see Gatorade. Plenty of basketball is still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. Uh, that's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. James Harden. A moment here now to see the numbers for Rudy Gobert. This last month, he's been positively spectacular. Fifth in field goal percentage, and he's also ranked in the top ten in blocks per game. No trespassing when he's in the lane. And yeah, he's such an efficient scorer. Understands the offense. Moves without the ball so well. That's why he's top five in field goal percentage. Philadelphia leading by 11. Passes it to Harris. Milton with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No score yet from him. Doesn't go for him. Nice D from Russell. Timberwolves trail by 11.
Gobert with a screen on Melton. Russell, no good. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Over to the left wing. Here's the triple. Bangs on the trifecta. Russell's got it back down to within single digits for Minnesota. Russell is continuing to develop that deep perimeter shot. He's got to continue to be a factor from there. Milton passes to Hills. It's rebounded by Towns. Timberwolves trail by eight. Kicks to Russell. Now, here's McDaniel. Towns finds Edwards. Over Maxi. Edwards can't hit. The 76ers have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. Really flowing here. Maxi against Edwards. Maxi, no good. Timberwolves have gone 7 of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Now the pass to go there. Spins. Here's Towns. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. And Towns has got eight points in the quarter. When Russell gets his teammates involved, it makes this entire team better, and it'll make him more effective at the point position. Milton passes to Harris. Can they get it? Out shot missing. Timberwolves go the other way with it. Now Russell. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Towns a screen on Melton. Russell, no good. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Shot from 12. Melton, no good. And the Timberwolves with possession. They've got an 8 nothing run. And here's Edwards. 14 points from him the last game against the Magic in Orlando. And he also chipped in with a couple blocks in that game. Just a hint at the impact he had on the defensive side. Yeah, part of what has made Carl Anthony Towns become an all-NBA level player, the passing ability has increased dramatically. How much more aware of his teammates is here is Russell. Pass to Towns. He uses the glass to finish the way. Now just a 2.76ers lead. That's their third straight make off of the assist. And Philadelphia calls time here. Changes for Philadelphia. Neang comes in for Hicks. And it's Shake Milton in for DeAnthony Melton. Minnesota also making some changes. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Towns. Torian Prince comes in for McDaniels. And it's Noel in for Russell. It's 
Madsen with the ball for the 76ers. Pass to Harold. Inside, Milton. Plays it up and banks it in. He's got five. And they repeatedly pulled inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Noel passes to Edwards. Down low. Jobert. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Well, terrific movement from the big man. Rudy Gobert starting to master the screen roll. And you look at Anthony Edwards. And Gio, he is becoming the leader of this Timberwolves team, isn't he? I think he is. I mean, partly it's his production. His numbers up across the board, but it's also his personality. He plays with tremendous swag. Two on the clock. A shot by Milton, no good. Timberwolves trail. Edwards passes to Noel. And there's a foul to we'll go on Shake Milton. That's his first foul. Mark Miles, he's jacked in for Philadelphia. We've got 118 left in the second quarter. Noel passes to go there. Called on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. And he hasn't cashed in on his chances at the line, only making one free throw. And his performance at the stripe hasn't been what I'd call outstanding in this game so far. The free throw drops for him. And really a good job of getting to the line in that first quarter. Hasn't been doing that as much here in the second. Maxie kicks to Kirkman. Milton with it. He's got five. And he banks in the lane. He's got seven points. Well, I don't think he'll get a screen assist for that hit, but they get the points, and that's all that matters. Passes it to go there. There's 45 seconds left here in the second. Anderson with the screen for Edwards. Six to shoot. Over Maxi. And again, it's Minnesota converting. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Edwards against Maxi. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. The Timberwolves making the switch. Reeves check in. Minnesota in the lead. They can close out the quarter if they want to. It's all about patience right here. Patience and execution. Get a good look. Maxi against Edwards. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Maxi. Hard work pays off right there. Anthony Edwards finds himself in the paint and draws contact. For Minnesota, they have missed more than they've made at the foul line tonight. Three of seven. The first one at the line is good. Anthony Edwards is one of the most explosive athletes in the league. He can burn you with his perimeter jump shooting. He's dangerous in transition. And look out, folks. The upside is there. He's off on the second. Rudy Gobert, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Timberwolves. His stat line has been terrific. As the quarter ends, he's already got a double-double. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Carl. Impressive start for you. What's the mentality going into a game like this? Uh, just being aggressive. Uh, really played like 
Sunday and played well at all the first half myself. We're missing all of us are missing a lot of heat and money. We're missing layups for us as pros. So uh, second half we make those layups, uh, it should be fun. We'll see if you stick to the script. Thanks very much, man. Back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Welcome, folks. The Philadelphia 76ers going head-to-head -head in what's been a neck-and-neck -neck battle through two quarters. Well, I got to give it up for the second unit tonight. I mean, they're scoring way better than some of the starters. And that's part of this club's strategy. Their front office has made it a priority to add great depth. Yep, and they definitely have great depth. How do you spell depth, Ernie? And since we've got a moment, let's go to social media, see what's on the fans' minds. Kenny, Home Cooking 62 is asking, who would fare better with today's style of offense, the jet or the diesel? Hmm, faster pace and emphasis on spacing the floor. You can't figure that out? Well, it takes two to space the floor. A man from long range and a man from short range. Everything in between two guys is the space. Higher education, kids. You saw it right here on 2K Sports. Now try to forget it. That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. We've seen a tremendous game from Harris. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far unstoppable. <laughs> Harrison and Beat are manning the post position. Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Tribal in at the small court. That's the time to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Now here is Harris. And the rejection by Town. Twice on the pipe, send it back, big fella. There's the pass to go back. And the number one overall pick in 2015. Probably the franchise player in Minnesota. But out to prove he can be the cornerstone of the run of contender. This will make five trips now to the free throw line for him tonight. Shoot two. A free throw drops for Gobert. Greg, in order for Towns to get the Wolves to where they want to go, and certainly where he wants to go, how does he take the next step? Uh, for me, last season, an inconsistent playoff performance for Cat. He's got to make an imprint on the game, even when shots aren't falling. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And finally, a productive trip at the line after a lot of struggles here early on. Harden the pass to MD. Good, it's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got six assists here tonight. And really, MD is a threat to score from anywhere. The defense has got to iron. Now here's Towns. There's Noel. Oh, good on the three. It's deflected. Right side, Russell. This one for three. And once again, off the mark by Minnesota. The 76ers trail by four. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. A nice shot by Harris. He has become a pure shooter. And from mid-range, Harris is dead. Edwards finds Gobert. Back to Edwards. Outside, Russell. A free ball. It's hauled in by the 76ers. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Harden the pass to Harris. For the lead. Gets the three-point of the ball. Harris has got 23 points. 
had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Timberwolves passing it around. Shot clock at six. High post, no bear. There's no L. The Timberwolves again can hit. 76ers have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Back to Harris. And B with the screen on Russell. And it's Harris. The drive. And slam dunk by Harris. And a nice mix of strength and agility. Harris able to explode for the slam. Russell passes to Towns. To the wing on the left. There's McDaniels. And nothing is falling for him right now. Now the 76ers on the break. Harden dishes to him. Back to Harden. Now here's MD. He's got six. Here's Harris. And it goes down two points. Harris has got nine points now in just the second half. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. And the Timberwolves call time. Tobias Harris. Outside Russell. Sets the pick for Russell. Back to Towns. Pass to McDaniels. Down to five on the shot clock. Gobert of the screen. Out 
Ball to Russell. To end the run. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Oh, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games that they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Three consecutive field goals have come right into where the D had better start buckling now. Gobert with a screen on Hart. Russell from long range. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Embiid's got 12 rebounds. It's a big time on Harden. No good. Timberwolves trail by seven. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Noel. They get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Here's Gobert. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. And in dropping that one, he stops a 13-0 run by the six. Has to Embiid from 12 feet out. That one wide left. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slide. Noel passes to go there. And that will be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And Carl Anthony Towns said he believes that he is the greatest big man shooter of all time. What do you think? Well, Kev, I think of a guy by the name of Dirk Nowitzki might have a thing or two to say about it. But I love Carl Anthony Towns' attitude. You have got to believe in your skills if you're going to have the kind of success that Cat has had in this league. And we know he is lethal from deep. He misses the free throw. And he looks totally out of sorts here at the strike. Those defenders aren't afraid at all to body him up and force him to earn his points at the line. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Montrez Harrell comes in for Embiid. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Maxi. The Timberwolves also with the sub. Anderson, he's checked in for Towns. we can't get either to fall. And the charity strike once again proving to be the Achilles heel for him. His free throws have been way off the mark. If he makes plays like that in his sleep, the game is just far too easy. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drop that happened a moment ago. And trying to extend this lead, no better way than playing north and south getting after it. Now, here is Russell. Lean by McDaniel. Anderson gets to McDaniel. Carries it from three-point range. McDaniel's got six. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. And there's in a screen on Melton. Brings it from beyond the arc. And now just a one-point Philadelphia lead. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Harold dishes to Hart. Into the lane. And the hit by Hart. Well, with that frame, that power, James Harden leaves no doubt. Now Russell. He has six. Brings it up off the glass. He's got eight. And the poise of D'Angelo Russell, despite the size all around him, that's nice. With the step back. Harold finds Harden. And brings the drive. And it's good. Two points. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They've been in the zone for mid-range all game long. And, and they've made the most of any chance they've found in that space. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing without hesitation. 
Harden, no good on the free throw. Timberwolves trail by three. Noel passes to Reed, and he uses the glass on the way. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And here's Melton. Harden up top. Right at the free throw line, and he gets the jumper to drop. Harden's got 15 points. One of the great NBA players one-on-one -on -one in the history of the game, James Harden, has got a rhythm and that's trouble. And the Timberwolves call time. Milton, he's jacked in for James Harden. got his second bucket of the night. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Now, here's Melton. Launches a three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Reeves got four rebounds in this game. McDaniels passes to Prince. Takes it off the glass. Prince has got his first points of the night. Well, you know Prince is going to be aggressive. So if you're not going to make a commitment to stop him, he's going to make high percentage shots like that one. Now, here's Milton. He has seven. And there's a foul called on Nas Reed. That'll be his second foul of the game. George Niang, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Minnesota also with the sub. Edwards, he's checked in for McDaniel. We 
We've got 1.48 left in the third quarter. Here he goes. Milton kicks to Korkmaz. The 76ers again can't hit it. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. Edwards passes to Noel. Feeds it to Anderson. Pocket six. Pass to Edwards. Up the line, Minnesota. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. For the tie. And the layup is up and in. Edwards got the game tied up here for the Timberwolves. And that strength and concentration from Anthony Edwards. Yes, there's contact. Doesn't bother him. In the pass to Kortmans. Now here's Harold. Guarded by Reed. The turnaround J. Is Harold missing? 43 seconds left to play in the third. Kicks it to Anderson. This is a dead one. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Let's remember, Anthony Edwards is 6'5 with a 6'9 wingspan. Those long arms are very difficult to deal with defensively. Draws the contact there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. And the 76ers making a change here. Harris has checked in. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Out in front now, although he left one point on the board right there. Kukmaz kicks to Milton. 11 seconds left to play in the third. Carroll is screen on Prince. Bounce pass for Milton. And here's Harris from the yard. Misses the trail. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Timberwolves ahead. Finishing the quarter on a tremendous 8-0 run. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to permit that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in score for us. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, at court guards are Russell and Edwards. Prince out there with Kyle Anderson, and it's Towns in at the center position. Now, here's Thibel. Outside, Maxi over Edwards. Maxi, no good. And it's Anderson with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They lead by one. Now Edwards. Towns, the pass to Russell. Now Edwards. Three pointer. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the one three, but that was back in the first half. Gets the bucket and the foul. It's on D'Angelo Russell. And so far, Harris is having his way on offense. The defense just has not found an answer for his energy on that end. The 
Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Anderson kicks to Towns. Prince outside. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Beach got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Stolen by Anderson. Passes it to Towns. It's over Embiid. It's hauled in by Harris. You know, he made an easy shot so much harder. And it really cost him the bucket pass. Maxi looking it over. And slam dunk by Maxi. Going to the left with energy. Be afraid to yeah, gotta chalk that one up with some shaky defender. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage of a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. And the Timberwolves with possession here. After the Sixers pick up two, fires top of the key. They get it again, and the dunk by Towns. Dominant on the boards. Carl Anthony Towns knows I can get points on the board by getting to the offensive glass. The pass to Harris. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And here's Anderson. Russell left side. Shot left front. And there it is for him. Russell's got it all tied up now for the Timberwolves. Well, he had trouble making shots in the first period, but rounding into himself here in the second. Harden the pass to Maxi. And B with a screen on it. Maxi, no good. The Timberwolves have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter, so they are two of six. Edwards can't hit. 76 is shooting, 49% on the game. They'll take that. Maxi passes to MB. Back to Fiber. And a cheap three from Harden. The 76ers again can't hit it. Minnesota's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Towns to take the lead. And MB hit the block. Lift plus agility. Great recipe for blocking shots. MB's one of the best to do it. It's to Harden. To Harris. Outside, Maxi. Philadelphia moving the ball up. It was Embiid. And he overshot that one, missing. The Timberwolves shooting 43% from the field. Russell dishes to Prince. Harris against Anderson. He kicks it to Russell. Over Harden. And it's Russell missing. Philadelphia shooting the fourth quarter. Not pretty down around 29%. Tipped away. This is it to Harden. Here's MB. Trying to get something going. Rebound, Minnesota. Anderson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He dishes it to Russell. Outside, Towns. Kicks it to Edwards. Over Hart to take the lead, and the layup is good. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Philadelphia. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Timeout called the 76ers.
Tucker, he's checked in for Harris. Gobert, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that, but it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thank you, David. Harden. He's guarded by Russell. Harden against Russell. Harden hits to MB. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got assist number eight here in this one already. Minnesota with the ball. Russell passes to Towns. And here's Edwards. And Fable sends it back. With it. And there's the pass to Maxi. Fable with the ball. And beat inside. Edwards defending. That one is good from Joel Embiid. And that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Now here's Towns. There's the dish to Russell. Takes a three. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got six rebounds in the game. There has never been hesitation for James Harden to mix it up down low. Tremendous job drawing contact. The throw good, James Harden. Noel, he's checked in for Kyle Anderson. No good on the second free throw. Timberwolves trail by three. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain all confidence. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. the first. He hits both from the strike. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Outside, Maxi. Outside. Tucker is free. Harden, that's good. Well, James Harden has run millions of pick and rolls in his career. He is the master of it. Understands what the defense concedes and then goes right at it. Oh, here is Edwards. 
No good there. Good D by indeed. I don't know if he's tired or what. He is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. Tucker finds Maxi. Here's Embiid again, Philadelphia. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. What sets him be the part is he does it with such a Here's Noel. Outside Russell. And a slam dunk by Russell. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor lead. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? Oh, ho, ho. And the rejection by Town. To the inside. And there to prevent the but that's exactly what you need to do. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Harris is checked in for the 76ers. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Here is Harden. And B with the screen on Russell. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through. Even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. And he knocks down the first one. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer. So you just can't hack away at it. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. It, it, it's been a really good day for him at the line some other bigs have well documented problems on their free throws he's not one of them now here is russell here's noel back to russell shot clock at five towns sets the pick for russell another miss by minnesota the 76ers leading by three Side, Maxi, the feed to Harris. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Harris has got five points now in the quarter. Well, all night he has made an impact on the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Pass to Russell. Indeed against Gobert. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Gobert. Russell's got 11 points here in just the second half. And so Harden will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers, led by as many as 14 points. Outside, Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Over Gobert. Embiid, no good. Timberwolves trail by three. to town. Dishes it to Russell. 157 left in the fourth quarter. And a misplay. No 76ers leading by three. Here's Maxi. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Six points for Tyrese Maxi. And credit Harris for creating that high percentage look. Scanning the floor and finding the best option. 
unloads from nine. That went off the back all in an hour. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Can you like how physical Harris can get inside? Always looking to initiate contact on offense. He drops the first one that increases their lead in six. Second, that misses. Timberwolves trail by six. Right side, Russell. Over Harden. And that one's good. Russell. In huge moment, D'Angelo Russell comes through big time. Russell the first three on Russell. The pass to MD. One try off in the fourth quarter. Shoot again. Go there with the block. This guy is an absolute menace and force on the defensive end. Rudy Gobert says no, sir. One oh five left in the fourth quarter of this one. Just five to shoot. Harden inside the three point line. Off the left rim and out. Minnesota's gone 3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Gobert with a screen on Hart. Also with it. And it's Harden picking him up. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. A lot of it comes down to great fundamentals. Establishing position early, controlling the backboard. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy look. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. And the Timberwolves call time. They're down by six. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? They're trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. This is the very definition of desperation mode right now. They need a quick shot and a quick foul.
and he is built to be the man for this team. Edwards answering the bell and execute. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, that's right. No other option but the foul and hope for some distance. <laughs> He hits the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line. It's a five-point game. Eagle Rock is riding on those foul shots and didn't mess around, making this a two-possession game. And the Timberwolves call time. They're trailing by five. 20 seconds left in the fourth. What do you think, guys? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing, they need a score. They need to score, and they need to do it quickly, but it is still possible here. And stolen by Fiber. So they foul intentionally. The second personal foul. Team is already in the penalty. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. Taking two shots. And he does get the second one. And that increases their lead to six. Outside, Russell. Nails the trade! Well, does he have the clutch gene? D'Angelo Russell says yes, sir. He he do. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. He had the foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Joel and Boo. At the line for two. free throw is good and that gives them a four-point cushion and, and most bigs you want to see at the foul line however Embiid is not one of them and so both free throws are good and it's a five-point game and you can wrap this one up great job to stay cool at the line and finish it off this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be content. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. Second one is good. In both at the line. It's a seven-point game. So the 76ers win it. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got that sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by for some. David. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Joel, congrats on the win. A quality win. How did you secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won some. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. Well, you're building towards something good, man. Congratulations on the win. Kevin? All right, David. Thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Owen, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. As we leave you with our new balance player of the game, Tobias Harris.